guys to another kiln opening video. If you have been watching my previous video, you're going to notice that it's almost the same combination with the past. This is just because I'm just stocking. So what's going to be sold out? That's basically what I am doing. And from time to time, I'm just gonna eat, add other new combinations that I would want to test. So... Again, I'm firing at cone 6 with a 6 minutes hold and I'm using a stoneware clay that is the number 3 from Minnesota clay. Yeah. As usual, I use the Amaco Velvet a black velvet underglaze for the black portion. The inside is three coats of iron luster, and on the outside is three coats of iron luster, and on top of it is three coats of oatmeal. Well, not, of, not all the mugs had dripped. I guess I didn't put it thick enough for that thing to drip. Then my usual pink and winter wood. I call it the winter wood pink on our side. So Two coats of winter wood, and then Norse blue, and then covered with raspberry mist. And the inside is just three coats of honey flux. You can see the pink there. So if I'm going to cover the whole Norse blue with the raspberry mist, then I don't get like the blue edges. But if I'm going to leave like a little bit of the Norse blue un uncovered by the raspberry mist, it's going to give me the, the blue. It's just a nice combination of the blue and the, the pink. But since we have a customer requesting that, if possible, it's only going to be pink, doesn't want the blue showing up, so I covered everything with raspberry mist. So I don't have the blue showing up on the edge. Same thing with this. That's three coats of honey flux on the inside. Okay. This was carved by my husband since he loves doing that. And he just applied three coats of iron luster. That's it. Iron luster, same thing with the inside. Another curved one. He like curving things. So this is plain blue rutile, three coats. And the inside is just three coats of the blue root aisle. And then the usual three coats of iron luster and then three coats of oatmeal. I think I only did three of this. Okay, this is a new thing that I'm trying to do, but apparently it looks like there's a crack at the bottom or like a pinhole or something. Reject. So inside is three coats of honey flux and, ah, oh, looks like I only applied a coat of obsidian. My bad. I messed up. So the black 
portion is two coats of obsidian. I think I need to go back to applying three coats instead of two because I'm getting this. But then I kind of like the the transition. You can see there's like the blue and that is the honey flux covering slightly the obsidian. So I applied the obsidian two coats from here up to this point and then three coats of honey flux slightly overlapping the obsidian and I think that's what's causing the blue. I don't know if I took a picture but I'm gonna show you if I did. On the rim part just like probably half an inch is three coats of chun plum. So from the chun plum up to probably half another half an inch or probably an inch is three coats of textured turquoise and this just created this green and there's the reddish because of the chun plum and then you can see the remaining honey flux And I did the same thing, the same combination on the black underglaze, this one. So this one, the same combination, except that instead of using obsidian, I did again the black underglaze. My usual three coats of honey flux inside, two coats of winter wood, and then just light flux. Same thing. Should have put more light flux on the handle so that I'm gonna have this effect. But that's okay. One of the very old combinations I've been doing since the start. Well, except for the black underglaze. Northern Light. Three coats of the black underglaze, the black part on the bottom that you're seeing. And then started with three coats of obsidian up to where the underglaze is and then three coats of smoky merlot four coats of seaweed and then the last part the blue part that you're seeing there is the indigo float ay 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 Minnesota mug, a Minnesota mug that I made for a friend. I think I did two. One I used the black underglaze and the one I used the obsidian. This is a lot of blue going on. Same thing, black underglaze, three coats of obsidian. Three coats of smoky merlot, four coats of seaweed, and then three coats of the indigo float. Let's unload all this. I have made nine or ten of this combination. My husband's gonna totally ban me from glazing the the cenote. He hates it when I do it because maybe I'm not applying it so thick and he doesn't like that. But the last time when we did that, a lot of them got stuck or I mean, we got a lot of drippage. He's not gonna be happy. But that's okay. 
Oh, by the way, this is an outer light and dark flux. Oh my god. Still beautiful, but a uh, little bit disappointed. Well, I guess not all of them. See how? I mean, the glaze almost reach the bottom if you apply it thick. Inside, it's just plain two coats of Sinode and the outer part is I just let. Put light flux up to this and then dark flux. I think I made probably six of this one. Okay, more of the winterwood pink. More winterwood light. Minnesota mug again with the northern light combination, but this time this is the obsidian and not the black underglaze. More northern lights, I think I've made a ton of them, so I'm just gonna unload them quick. Let's see Christine's. Two winterwood, Norse blue, and then the pink. And this is the black under glaze, which she wants. Turned out nice. Yeah. And then just the winterwood peeking out on the outside and a little bit of the pink. Hmm. She's going to be so excited getting that. And same thing with this. Okay. Well, looks good. Most of them look really good again. It's more of Northern Lights, so I'm just gonna unload all the Northern Lights. Last two mugs. So there's my cones. So basically that is the content of this cone. Like a few bowl pieces from our friends and just mugs as usual. What I'm gonna do next is to inspect them one by one for pinholes or cracks. If there are some, then it just goes to garbage. And then for the good ones, they're gonna get sanded. But so far, I only think I only seen one crack in one of my test pieces when I was unloading. Well, unless it's a test piece. So there's 54 pieces, 54 mugs, and those bowls, two little ones, one mug, and two medium sizes. 54 mugs for the kiln. Last time we were able to fit like around 61. All right guys, thank you for watching. I will be seeing you in the next kiln opening video.